Today, I will begin my presentation with one example. Try to imagine this. I'm a tourist and I go on blue trips. My first destination is Germany and my second destination is Montenegro. During my visit these two countries, my smartphone stopped working. I want to buy a new smartphone in these two countries. The smartphone costs $700 in Germany and the same one is a bit cheaper in Montenegro and costs $690. What is this about? The smartphone is a good that is easy to trade around the world and there is a little difference in price in different countries. On the other hand, during my visit these two countries, I also needed a whole body massage. I paid $10 for 30 minute massage in Montenegro and I paid $40 in Germany. What is happening here? The difference in price of labor in sector of services varies around the world. The services are immobile and their price in poor countries is significantly lower than their price in developed countries. In this context, the general price level in poor countries is lower. The mechanism has three components. First, people want to consume some service. Second, the labor force is interchangeable between the sectors. Third, the productivity of sector of goods is higher in Germany than in Montenegro. Greater diligence of workers in a sector of goods will put pressure on wages of workers in a sector of services. This is the reason why the service massage in Germany is more expensive. With my dissertation, I want to answer three questions. First, what is the increase in the diligence of workers in a sector of goods compared to a sector of services? Second, how much does this change in diligence benefit the price increase? Third, to what extent does this change in diligence benefit the increase in the prices of domestic goods expressed in terms of foreign goods? The aim of the dissertation is to examine this effect in Western Balkan countries. Examining this effect is important from the aspect of potential accession of the Western Balkan countries to the European Union and the introduction of the Euro as the national currency, which is the final goal.